Are you looking for the best small chainsaws in your budget? Well in today's video we break down the top 5 best small chainsaws that are available on the market. I made this list based on their price, quality, durability, and more. To find out more information about this product, you can check out the description below and also make sure you subscribe for more reviews. Okay so let's get started with the video. The fifth product on our list is the Makita XCU 3PT 118VX 2LXT Lithium Ion Brushless Cordless 14 Chainsaw. This lightweight, battery operated saw packed a ton of power. Even better, it was available in a kit with four batteries that kept us going through the entire testing process without having to pause to allow any of them to charge. Makita XCU 3PT X1 and Brushless Angle Grinder 6 The variable speed trigger was a nice touch, allowing the operator to match the speed to the material they were cutting through with ease. It also had an automatic shutoff which kicks in after the saw has been powered on but not used for a few seconds. It's just a nice little safety touch although some found it irritating. Indeed, the automatic shutoff was the biggest flaw on the saw. You can get around it by holding the safety switch down, but we found that in practice it can be hard to keep it on while adjusting logs for cutting. Other than that flaw, however, it's a solid tool and surprisingly powerful for an 18V model. It tore through all of our tests with ease and combined with the moderate cost we felt it deserved the top place on our list. Up next in the fourth place is the Dual DCCS 690X 140V chainsaw. A bit bigger than the others on our list but still in the small range. This battery-powered chainsaw from DeWalt was, well, it was amazing. It has all of the little safety features we recommended and also came in with superior build quality. Of course, you'll end up spending quite a bit more than any of the other saws on our list and not everyone is willing to make the trade-off. That said, if maximum power and great balance are what you're looking for in your small chainsaw this is exactly what you've been looking for this whole time. It's an amazing step up but it also sits right at the edge of what we'd consider to be a small chainsaw overall. Dual DCCS 690X 140V Chainsaw 4 The chain may be a bit more fragile. It has a rather narrow curve compared to the others on our list as well but it held up through our full day of testing without any issues. The third product on our list is the Metaba HPT Tanaka TCS 33 EDTP divided by 1432 2cc 14-inch top handle chainsaw. Tanaka makes great chainsaws and this was our favorite of the small gasoline-operated models we tested. The tiny engine barely uses any fuel while still supplying a shocking amount of power to the bar. It was extremely easy to control in action as well. The lightweight made it a fast favorite. Although the gasoline-powered saw takes a bit more effort to start than you'll put out with an electric saw of any stripe. Tanaka TCS 33 EDTP 12-inch top handle chainsaw 4. It also comes with an excellent 7-year warranty far longer than any of the other saws on our list. That shows both faith in their product and protects you, the consumer from any mishaps that might occur. As a gasoline saw, it requires more maintenance than electric saws and a bit more effort to get going but if you need a small workhorse this is exactly what you've been looking for. Second on our list is the Makita XCU1Z18 VLXT Lithium Ion Cordless Forminus 1 divided by 2 chainsaw. We fell in love with this miniature chainsaw almost immediately, at least for the tasks it was capable of doing. We tested out one other extremely short bar model alongside it and found it to be disappointing but for pruning. This one is absolutely awesome, powered by an 18V battery. This small chainsaw has a tiny bar that makes short work of any pruning task. It's too short to be of much use for taking down saplings over 6 or so and it's not going to be the saw you want to rely on to chop firewood. Makita XCU1Z Cordless Chainsaw 2 that said, For certain uses, this saw is absolutely perfect. The power going into the shorter bar makes it a surprisingly robust cutter for anything shorter than the bar and it's well constructed and thought out. Within those limitations, it's absolutely perfect, however, and for those who need a really small chainsaw, we'd recommend snapping this one up at the first opportunity. Finally, the top product on our list is the Remington RM1425. Lightweight and extremely versatile in the field. This Remington chainsaw is really only limited by the fact that it has to be plugged in. For smaller backyards the low price, lightweight, and great construction makes it a complete beast. Remington RM1425 Lemon Trim Electric Chainsaw 5 The lightweight made it awesome for pruning overhead. The biggest problem with it was getting up the ladder. Be careful using a ladder and make sure the cord is run properly to the side and you'll be fine, however. The lightweight also didn't lend itself well to laying into the saw for thicker cuts but it made it through our battery of tests without too much slowdown. We did have some oil leaking when the saw was set down but we quickly found that putting it on its right side prevented that from happening. Just be aware of what you're doing when you set it down and you won't have to worry about it. Thanks for watching, and that's all for now, I hope. To see you guys in the next video, till next time.